Right now, Truck and Logistics Simulator is in early access, and whilst it is pretty simple and straightforward to use a G29 wheel, it isn't at the moment, at least, going to feel quite right in all vehicles. I highly recommend driving in first person as much as possible, as steering with the wheel in that view does seem to work considerably better than in any other view. Start off by plugging in your G29, make sure the G-Hub is running and has identified it. I highly recommend that you update to G-Hub if you're not already using it. Create a new profile for Trucks and Logistics Simulator, and the quickest way I recommend to do this is to start the game, then open the Task Manager, find the file, copy the location of the executable, and paste that into G-Hub. Once created, ensure that you have the game selected and that the profile has switched to it correctly before you start making changes. Even though Truck and Logistics Simulator is in early access, most of the necessary button bindings should already be done for you. Accelerate, brake, combine to become forwards and backwards. Unfortunately, there are no gears in this game at this moment in time. But if your steering or pedals are not working correctly, then let's check your settings in the game. Open the options, scroll down to the steering method below accelerometer and select your wheel. Then you can change your field of view and seating position, plus whether or not you want the game to rotate your internal view to the side when you steer. Additional options include physics quality, a strangely named option. I set mine to max, your mileage might vary. Finally, the sensitivity adjustment. Now for me, neither of these felt quite right, whether I had it at max or minimum. But this setting seemed to me, at least, to give greater stability, although that really does seem to depend on which vehicle you're actually driving. So once you have basic steering, pedals and indicators working, you can decide if you want to add more functionality or not. To do this, you will need to add keybinds to your G-Hub profile, as there are no keybind options within the game itself. As a basic example, here are the commands in the game. So, for example, if I wanted to add horn to the enter button on my G29, you simply click here, type the letter in, and then drag it to the chosen button on the wheel. I really hope that this tutorial has been helpful for you. Please hit the like button if I've helped you out. Leave a comment below and enjoy your game. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye for now.